Welcome back to Copper Star Precision, the channel dedicated to getting you more points at competitive shooting matches. Today we're continuing on with the NRL 22, 2023 September Course of Fire. This is stage three and the booklet is called Limits of Redux. Let's go over the stage description. On the start signal, engage the KYL from a prone supported position in the following order with one shot each. Large to small on the strong side, large to small on support side, everyone's favorite. Small to large on the strong side. You must conduct a magazine change after shot three, but before the last shot. If a magazine change is not conducted and all shots were fired, then the last two shots will be not be scored regardless if they were impacts. The spare mag is in a two gallon bucket six feet behind the firing line. Remember that support side means support eye, shoulder, and hand. So here we have the KYL rack at 55 yards. So I'll put the target sizes down here. Uh, in my last two years of shooting this sport competitively, I think this is the farthest we've had the KYL rack. So quarter inch target at 55 yards, no joke. So I think this is going to be kind of one of the, the game you know, uh, stages that kind of decides who wins the match. Um, so because these are the most challenging targets of the match and the fact that most people really hate shooting support side. But we're here to fix that. We're here to talk about how to shoot support side so that you can beat out the people who don't shoot support side. So prone stage, not much to say here. Bipod, rifle, your favorite rear bag. This is the Armin Getting Gear X-Wing. And what we're doing here is we're simply taking a prone position and engaging large to small and then large to small again, but support side. So I think it's pretty obvious, you know, people shoot prone pretty often. We're gonna come down here, get in position, find the target. We're gonna be flat on the floor. We're going to control our breathing. We're usually at high magnification here and we go whatever it is, left to right, right to left. Uh, it's gonna be largest to smallest target. So we're taking our time here. While we're on our, our strong side, what's important is we're really trying to watch the flight path of that bullet. We're trying to get wind calls uh, for future targets. We're starting on the large targets, so hopefully making those impacts. But any, anytime you miss, try and gather information for the next time that you go to engage that target. So we're gathering information, we're going down. First four shots, relatively straightforward. Now the next four shots are support side, so, and it's also gonna be large to small. So this is how I want you to approach the stage. It is the eye relief. People have trouble with support side because they're not used to looking through the left eye. Um, and if you're a right eye dominant shooter and vice versa for left eye dominant shooter but they're not used for like looking for that perfect window where you can see the scope, see through the scope. And that's because if you're zoomed in, the eye relief is terrible. It actually gets smaller. If you're zoomed out, the eye relief is much more forgiving. So what we're gonna do, while we're still laying on our strong side, we've taken our fourth shot. Hopefully we made an impact on that quarter inch target. We're feeling good. We're gonna line up the rifle exactly with the one inch target, the large target, because we're going to go large to small, we have to go support side. So we're completely lined up with the large target, right? We've taken our fourth shot. We line everything up and we're just going to relax the left hand and hopefully the rifle comes straight down so that essentially when we squeeze the rifle bag with our other hand, it's going to come right back up to that position. So we're on target. So we're taking a little bit out of the game when it comes to target acquisition, so we should already be on target. So now, without disturbing the rifle, we're simply gonna shimmy over. And sometimes I've seen people um, actually like put their hand over their right eye like this until they find the target, which works for some people. But essentially, all you wanna do is follow down the scope. So look at the tip of the scope, look at the turret, come down to the eyepiece and we've now found where the eye box is. If you're having trouble after you take that fourth shot, back off the magnification and then you get the eye box and you can always zoom back in. So we've got zoom backed in and what we're doing here is now we need to use the left hand, left, uh, if you're a right hand shooter, you need to use the left hand here. So take our right hand, and this is where we're gonna do the bag control, we're gonna squeeze. If we squeeze straight up, we should be on that target. So we're on that target, and now we can reach under, manipulate the bolt this way, we can reach over the top, manipulate the bolt that way. That's probably what I'll do there. 
Now we're locked and loaded and now we're ready to go. And then we're just gonna come over the top, eject, find the next target like that. And notice how I'm not moving my, once my eye finds that eye box, that window, I am trying very hard not to break my cheek weld. I'm not doing this, looking up at the target. Once you find that eye box, you're there. So, and then after this, after that nonsense of the support side, that's when I would go back and I would grab my mag and do the mag change and then start the last string of fire on the strong side where everyone's much more comfortable. So really the transition from strong to support side, the key things are line yourself up for that one inch target, the large target, before you transition so that the rifle is kind of in the position so you're not hunting for that target. The second is just take your time. If you have to back off the magnification, do that so that you can find the eye box easier. Once you find the eye box, then you can zoom in. And then it's just a matter of reversing the controls. And I like to do sort of the either underneath or over the top bolt manipulation so that I don't have to break the grip on the rear bag so I can keep that elevation. I'll see a lot of people, they're holding on and then they, they take their right hand off the bag to manipulate the bolt and then they've lost their position. So if you can, try and do everything that you would normally with your trigger hand, with your support hand, because that's kind of the name of the game when it comes to the support side. I hope those tips and tricks helped. If they did, leave a like on this video, comment down below. Um, if you go to the match, let me know. And uh, yeah, until I see you next time, as always, four more points.